Domestic and sexual violence within a community is a grave concern that demands urgent attention. Statistics shows that 33% of women aged 15 to 49 in Nigeria have experienced physical or sexual violence and this inflicts immediate harm on victims and trauma. We know that they are addressing these issues in the way they know how to. And so it's important that we leverage on existing institutions such as traditional um, institutions, equip them with relevant information about these issues, letting them know that these are crimes, crimes are committed against the state, and more importantly, letting them know their roles in preventing and responding, letting them know the referral pathway that should be activated. Strategic engagement and collaboration with key stakeholders, including traditional leaders, are crucial in fostering awareness, prevention, and victim assistance. It is essential to challenge cultural norms that perpetuate violence and work towards creating a safe and more inclusive environment for all members of the community. I think it's a welcome development by the Lagos State Government, which is whereby the making the royal father um, a first point of contact, because that's part of what we've been dealing with in our various domain. And with this now, we have to take it back. And in solving the problem of sexual violence within our various community, it's a, it's, it's a huge task that the government must work with the royal fathers, and that's the only way we can move forward. Everything is not about ordinary sex. We have many, you know, our children nowadays, the way they play with each other, we have, they have many ways of being improving, you know, this is sexual harassment. So we've been taught and we've learned a lot. So if, we, if, we, if you will say that kind of something in our community, we need to give a lot to SDB fee, you know, for their response immediately. Based on this sensitization, some of what I didn't know, now that I know that I need to partner with Lagos State um, through the helpline, toll-free line that was given to us, that at any given time, uh, we could always call for help. The agency says it will continue to leverage on the influence of the traditional rulers to promote awareness, change cultural norms and reinforce the message of zero tolerance for SGBV within local communities. This partnership is expected to facilitate a more comprehensive and culturally sensitive approach to combating such violence.